Hi everyone, my name is Panache, and today I will be bringing you a pilot series where I explain how to play heroes at a very high skill level. Sometimes the item choices, skill builds, and decision making of high level players can be confusing, so allow me to help you understand by analyzing replays of very good players. I found this Lena replay in high matchmaking, so let's jump right in. As a support, it's your job to purchase Courier, so let's go ahead and do that and upgrade the flying right away just in case someone needs a quick item. However, don't spend the rest of your starting gold, because you never know when your Harry will need pooled smoke, regen, or, or observer ward, your salve, or dust, or, or a hug, sentry wards, or, or a, a shoulder to cry on, or, or a pep talk, someone or to watch another the minimap, so be sure to be a good support. So now we're in lane and uh oh, try lane, try lane, try lane. Call me vengeance. The dragon comes for war. The Veiled Sisters sent me. Notice how both Vengeful Spirit and Phantom Assassin have magic wands for starting items. This is an excellent starting item for a tri lane, as many spells will be cast. However, this is no tri lane. This is a quad lane. Quad lane. Quad lane. Quad lane. Quad lane. Quad lane. Now it's serious, so show that quad lane you mean business. Good job, Lena. Harassed right out of lane. That's how you do it. Also notice how Lena has no mana. That's excellent. Now here we see Doom coming for a gank. I find many people, when they're ganking, come from behind the enemy heroes, which, which I feel is a, it's a common misplay. So Doom is going to come, zooming right along, and you're going to see how much more effective this is. So, boom. And that's how ganks are done. As every ganker knows though, you should stay in lane for as long as possible, see if you can get more kills. And here we go! Proof is in the pudding. Easy kill. So now, Lean's gonna back up. We're gonna see if we can take this tower. Oh, oh, oh well. It happens. So now we're, we're back in lane. Oh, low HP. Time to juke. Here we go! Yeah, that's it. And that is something you only see in high skill mode. They just this instinctive knowledge of where the good juke spots are. Now here we come to Adventure Spirit and... Yes! For a move. So I hope you're seeing the power of Lena. Really, kills come quite easy, as you can see here with this Dragon Knight. Alright, I want to demonstrate why you build Yule Scepter on Lena. This, this may seem like a very high level play, but I want you to try it out in your next game. So, as we can see here, boom. Our creep wave walks right past this range creep. Any damage it was going to do is completely nullified. So here Lena grabs a rune, and she's going to do something that I think is personally one of the best things you could do for your team, which is scout. Now I, I often see people who are, you know, say Ricky or Bounty Hunter, you know, farming or ganking, and, and whenever I see that I just think, you could be scouting for your team. You know, think of all the intel you can get when you scout. Here we see Lena narrowly misses these two heroes, but, but the intel she could have gotten was so valuable. So here we come to a tower. Now, unfortunately, it feels like Valve may have had a glitch here. Cause the tower is hitting Lena even though Lena's invisible. Now, I, I wish Valve would fix that, but who am I to say? So here, Lena and uh, Ogre Magi are going to go for a kill on Huskar um, very aggressively. I think that's, that's a really good strategy. It's, it's, this tower is hitting them, but how much to do about that? Towers are towers. This kill is theirs. They in their sights. Almost. Here we go. We're gonna get the kill. Ugh, so close. Oh well. Um, you know, there's no way to avoid that death. So it happens. You know, you just gotta, you gotta move on. That was. And now we've come to the item that you should get absolutely every Lena game, and that is Armlet. Armlet synergizes so well with Lena's fiery soul. Every team fight, you're gonna be casting all your spells, and all of a sudden, you're sitting on this huge pool of attack speed. And boom, 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 these fireballs are firing off like machine gun. Plus, it gives you survivability. That extra strength 
is, is invaluable. Now here we're gonna see it used, you know, you can go 2v1 no problem with this. Oh. Oh well, Lena forgot to turn on Armlet. If she had, I guarantee you that would have been a very different fight. So with Mask of Bandits completed, our attack speed, our movement speed, it's all through the roof. So suffice to say, uh, Dyer wins this game. Trust me, the rest of the replay is pretty boring. I won't show it. I hope you enjoyed the video, though, so have a nice day. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please leave feedback. Click here for similar videos on my channel.